drip, drip, drip. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how I'm tracking uh, the dividend income from my individual stocks. Because I've actually gotten a lot of questions from some of you guys asking me how to track, how do you track your dividend income? So I do have a spreadsheet that I'm using for that. Um, and I'm going to walk you guys through it. And if you are interested in um, downloading the spreadsheet, again, I'm going to put it in the description below. I'll put a link there so you can download it. Um, it's going to take you to my blog and you can also on my blog you can actually see um, all the different individual stocks that I'm actually holding um, that do pay dividends and then you can download the sheet and use it it's very straightforward um, again if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that really interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so let's jump right onto the computer and take a look at um, the sheet that I'm talking but this is going to be a very quick video i just wanted to make sure that people that have been asking these questions do have an answer and just not just tell you where to go get it but show you how it actually works so, so here we go um so once you once you get this sheet once you download this sheet from from the website um you get it on your computer you just have to enter information in three major places so column a we say it's the, the ticket symbol. That's the first uh, part that you're gonna enter. So whichever stock that you own, uh, that's a dividend paying stock, you enter the ticket symbol right there. And that's gonna that's gonna take you now to uh, column B, which is it's asking you for the amount of shares of that particular uh, stock that you own. You, in, you input that, and then what is the average cost per share that you paid? Um, so, and then once you input those three it's going to populate the entire thing for you you don't have to do anything what's going to do is going to go online um because this whole shit is automated it's just going to go online and pull the current price uh, uh from google finance it's going to go pull it out and, and insert it into this uh sheet for you and then it's going to do the math and, and and multiply and tell you your equity it's going to show you your market value currently and then um obviously walk your way through showing you your capital gains and i mean ideally i want everything in column g and h to be green but we know that COVID 19 has actually um really uh, hurt the market so bad and so i'm seeing a ton of red but i'm, I'm very hopeful because it's a long-term position so um maybe in one or two years this is all going to be green and then um, it's showing you your annual dividends in column i um, and then showing your dividend yield in column J. Um, and then obviously, um, what I'm really interested in is, is the annual income. So column N is what you anticipate getting from that particular stock annually. And then, so in my case, uh, where I'm currently sitting right now, so if you just slide this to the right, you would see uh, more detailed information. So uh, where I'm currently sitting right now is that my anticipated um, annual dividend income in column T is twelve hundred, a little bit over twelve hundred dollars a year. So that amounts to about over a little bit over a hundred dollars a month, which is not bad. A again, uh, when, when I talk about dividend income, in this case, it's you sitting there doing nothing and getting paid a hundred dollars a month, which is awesome. You own this stock. You're getting two things out of this stock. The price goes up. You're getting growth, and they're paying you dividends. It's awesome and for starters if you are reinvesting that dividends that's why i said drip 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 so that's dividend reinvestment so if you can get a portfolio that has drip um you're reinvesting your dividends and letting it grow so if i took this 1200 dollars and use it and then i'm losing out so if i but if i take it and reinvest it next time that they pay me dividends they're not just going to pay me dividends for what i have now they pay me dividends for what i have plus the twelve hundred dollars which is going to pay me more dividends so the goal is to compound it over and over in the next 10 15 20 25 30 years uh, before i start thinking about retirement so that when you retire you have enough money in this portfolio so that you can start taking that dividends every month and not worry about it. And, and the good thing about a portfolio like this is with your retirement portfolio, the government can tell you when you can start pulling money out or they, they, they dictate when you have to pull money out or they like it or not. You have to start pulling money out of your retirement account. But an, an account like this, you don't have to, but this comes with a risk. The risk there is if the market were to crash, like it just did um, last month, 
and even currently now, you are going to see companies stop paying that dividends, which means that income is going to you know, be gone. Your income is going to be gone. And then your stock value would even go down, which you can't even sell and take your money out if you didn't anticipate it, something like this happening. So um, it, even though it's good, but it comes at a risk. So I do have another portfolio or other portfolios that covers that. So I have a 401k. I have a Roth IRA account. I have a traditional IRA account. I have an HSA account. So those are other accounts that are keeping uh, me a buffer. So overall, I just want a very solid uh, situation where I cannot be punched in one direction. So if you only have a 401k, and then the government will tell you when you need to start pulling money out of that account. If you only have, a, let's say, a drip account, and then what if the economy crashes so you find yourself in trouble so that is something that i really wanted to bring out so uh basically this is a sheet um a kind of a breakdown of your holdings and uh percent by percentage and then your dividend income by percentage as well so uh just basic math um so the, again this is it this is a sheet that i use and i've been using it to track my dividends um now for two or three years so if you're interested again guys i'm going to put a link in the description below where you can actually go and download this particular sheet um just input your information and there you go you're up and running and tracking your dividend income i hope this was helpful again if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that really interests you Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, question of the day. What do you think about this sheet? Do you have a better one? Let me know in the comment section. And I want to see it. If you want to share with me, I'm, I mean, I'm more than happy to take a look. I'm not emotionally attached to this particular sheet. So if I see something that's better, I'm always good for improvement. So let me know in the comment section if you have something that's better that helps you track your dividends. Stay safe. Stay motivated.